So this is lecture one. We're going to be discussing the layout of drum rack, an introduction to drum rack pads, macro controls, the chain list, and simpler. So first we're going to insert an instance of drum rack. Um, I've got the drums category open on my Live 9 browser off to the left, and you can see drum rack is located right here. I've got a MIDI track loaded into my set. So let's go ahead and just double click drum rack with the MIDI track selected, and that puts a blank drum rack in this MIDI track. Uh, this is kind of a shell that we're working with right now, and I want to be able to actually play some sounds back. And rather than building a kit from scratch, I'm just going to load one that Ableton provides with the library. So let's go ahead and use Command F to search our library, and let's search for 808. And if we go and filter that into the drums category, we're able to select this 808 classic kit. Let's just double click that. And now we've inserted this into our MIDI track. So you can see this opens up a few extra windows in addition to filling all of the drum rack pads displayed on the screen. The first thing we're going to talk about is this actual pad section. So this is where the drums live. So you can see we've got kick, rim, snare, so on and so forth. Uh, classic 808 kit. You can play these pads back by playing the play button as I just did, by using a MIDI keyboard or MIDI pads, or by using the keyboard on your computer. Assuming that you have the computer MIDI keyboard button enabled in the top right corner. So let's talk about some of these extra windows we have down here. I've got the info view open on the left, which allows us to just hover over any window and see what exactly it is. That's very helpful. I would suggest having that open as you're first going through drum rack and as you're learning anything in live. So the first thing we're going to discuss is the little show and hide buttons off to the left. You can see that this one is yellow meaning that we're showing the device chain right now. Let's go ahead and click that, and you can see that the devices off to the right have now disappeared. If we show this first button, we show the macro controls, which currently have nothing mapped to them. These are controls which allow us to map multiple controls to one knob so that we can adjust multiple different parameters all at once. We're going to come back to these at a later time, but now you know what they are. Next is the chain list. This functions as the mixer for our drum rack, and also shows all the different chains where each of our individual drums live. We'll worry about some of the other controls that show up when we activate the chain list later in the course. Another thing to note is that we are currently displaying this segment of pads. If you click within the pad overview section here, up or down, you can display any number of the pads available in drum rack. As you can see, there are a lot. And lastly is the device chain. And if you hover on any individual drum pad, this shows you the exact chain and the exact instrument and effects that live in each one of these individual drum pads. Within each of these is an instance of a device called Simpler, which is actually a very simple sampler that Ableton offers in its instrument library. Each of the drums in Drum Rack live in their own instance of Simpler. We'll expand on Simpler later in the course.